What are you doing down here, little one? All right, Demon Greaves. That was very generous of you. I'll make good use of him, thanks. I'm not alone. Hmm, an ambush, is it? Your powers will only feed me. The hell are these things? No matter how many I defeat, I can't absorb their power. What? Damn. Seems Talos has been tinkering with the undead. What? Well, well. Haha, <laughs> well, it seems to have done the trick. Ah. Uh. Been a long time, Toll. Haven't seen you since that fateful night. Been a while. But here you are, Rhea. You've saved me a great deal of time by coming. Yes, I'm glad I happened upon you as well. Something we need to discuss, a grievance I wish to air with you, as it were. Oh, what would that be? Related to my capture of Fina, no doubt. No. About that day, that night when you stayed behind on the surface without saying a word to either of us. Well, it was only after the ritual had been completed and the shrine raised to the heavens that I heard you'd be what had become of you and Saul. I can't even begin to imagine how much Fina and I grieve for you. Our closest friend had disappeared into the night, purposely getting himself lost by a dam, a dam land without so much as a goodbye. We began to think of that our friendship, everything we'd been through together, may have all been a lie. That's not true. I did it because I care about you. Whoops. You actually brought all- you actually brought all that? Well, I'm certainly no actress, so I expect my audience may be simply be a bit naive, gullible perhaps. Pity, I was beginning to reconsider my stance on the matter. Perhaps it had all been a lie. I am, after all, a traitor to East now, accepted demonic powers, and even kidnapped your sister. And that won't be the last of my misdeeds now that I have you and the Black Pearl in my sights. I simply cannot allow you to escape. But it, I will afford you a chance to come quickly. Will you accompany me without resistance? No, I won't. I can't. I can't let, I can't let you die like this. So I was right. Your face has always been extraordinarily easy to read, my dear Toll. What nonsense are you spouting? Why, I would never let myself get killed. To destroy the demonic essence, I would presume. But it won't work. The essence originates from the Black Pearl. Unless the object itself is destroyed, the essence will remain. And the Black Pearl is a treasure crafted long, long ago in the Ages of Gods. No man, nor indeed divinity entity, can destroy it so easily. Which isn't to say it's impossible, of course. Your method simply won't be enough to accomplish it. Only by absorbing so much power as to become one with demonic essence, essentially merging into it, could any man, woman, or god possess the ability to destroy the Black Pearl. But that would be nothing short of suicide. After all... If you and the Black Pearl are one and the same, then your existence depends on its existence. If you annihilate your source of life, you too will be annihilated. No less, no less surely or completely. Listen, you ramble. Do you think this is an all an act? Look well upon me. Look what I've become. 
Whole fact you knew died that day. A man, nay, the demon I am now is driven only by lust for power, with the inner t intent to rule all over all of ease. Demonic essence has given me what I needed to achieve this goal. Why would I ever wish? Please, Tall, don't do this. I know how difficult it must be to retain any semblance of reason while taking that form. Do you remember what you said to me before? You told me I was half perfect, and pushing myself to go all the way was utterly pointless. Sometimes you have to be able to admit your faults and accept help from those who care about you. Not to say you're half perfect, of course, really, you're nothing, nothing halfway at all, it seems. But you should follow your own advice nonetheless. I don't see you accepting any help, and I only see you pushing, I only see you pushing your limits. Well then, why don't you tell me? Tell me how you plan to keep the demonic essence locked up inside the pearl. When I accepted these powers, I was given insight into the true nature of the essence. You may say I felt it. It was like chaotic, flickering flame, both beautiful and revolting in equal measure, generating demons and darkness. If controlling it were such a simple task, no doubt you two would have done it long ago. The whole mess over as soon as the first demons reared its ugly head. You obviously have some sort of plan in mind, or you wouldn't be here, so what is it? What scheme have you devised so drastic it drove you and your sister to sneak away from this into this hellish abyss? I know there's something you're not telling me, something you're hiding. I'm sorry, I can't say I won't, not to you. Consider them a belated thank you for that lovely harmonica you once gave me. Keep them close, you'll be glad you did. Freya. If we can seal away the demonic essence, we'll have averted the worst of the crisis, and you'll be free of this curse you've taken upon yourself. So I beg you, please, stay with your hand and leave everything to us. Can't let them die like this, huh? She's one to talk. Look in her eyes. Was that of a woman willing to accept whatever fate may befall her? In this accursed tower, death is mostly likely end to any story, especially if... Wait, of course. That has to be it. How daft am I to not un... That I thought never even crossed my mind till this very moment. I need to talk to Fina. Maybe I can get her to confirm how they plan to seal away the demonic essence and explain why they sneaked down, why they s sneaked down to the surface to do it. Randall's annex isn't far from here. Just hope I can speak with her alone. Lap that on. Like, fire it is.
guys are already
gonna have to fight this boss. It'll be interesting. Oh, hey, Claw Man. Oh no, shouldn't you be out searching for the goddesses? You'd think, but Zeva wanted me to stick around and stand guard. Seems those folks from East made their way up, way to the halfway, up half the. Ugh. East have made their way to the upper half of the tower, so they're not too far from here. How about you? Still no signs of Rhea, was it? <clears throat> yeah, still no signs. There's something we discussed with her counterpart, however. Do you wouldn't mind giving us some privacy? Sounds scandalous. Well, no one is here but me. I'm not moving from this spot till Zelda tells me, so feel free to talk with what's your name all you want. Excellent, thank you. You excuse me then. Really hate it being left to babysit. The worst job there is, but I don't know what to do. But if I don't do what Zeva tells me, she'll never shut up about it, you know? I guess we'll starting to get kind of dull here anyways. So it's as good as any place to stand around doing nothing. Wait, what is this door? Nelson Zeva must have sealed it after I left. Atmosphere is is not pleasant. Somehow I doubt they used a mere mere key. Getting in to speak with Lady Feeder will not be an easy task. Alright, that seems to have worked nicely. Pardon me. Oh. Did something happen? You look unusually solemn. I found Rhea. What? But I don't sense that she's been captured. Uh, so it's true then. You two do have some ability to intuit one's other si the other's safety. Well, I've s you've sensed correctly. I let her go. Is that so? My conversation with her quite illuminating left me with several burning questions. Chief among them want to know exactly how you intend to seal away the demonic essence within the Black Pearl. Ah. Your face tells me I have touched upon a tender subject just as I suspected. The other question I feel compelled to ask is why you two came down to the surface alone, particularly without consulting the six priests. You came here behind the backs of your trusted advisors and I want to know why. All right, then. Let's start with your second query. You deserve to know the truth. Oh? The demonic essence distorts the earth, and that distortion gives rise to demons. The Clara Ore then serves to amplify that effect, but I assume you knew that much already, no? I did. Aelis informed me. He also mentioned the Darklings were uninvolved in the whole process. Indeed, they came to East only after the demons had already arrived. Yet most immediately they learn to harness the demonic essence and build this enormous tower. Does that not strike you a bit suspicious? Now the invention is rather convenient they arrived when they did and made all the way all the right moves with virtually no missteps. And ever since then the demons have been able to counter every one of our tactics, eventually overrunning the land, almost as if they were one step ahead of us. Wait, are you implying I am? The Darkling's arrival here was no accident. They were invited to East and taught about the demonic essence by one of our own. Ultimately, Enrea and I had no choice but to act alone to ensure that the traitor in our ranks was left unaware of our actions. Hmm, I must say, that's not the answer I was expecting. Who is the traitor, and why would he do this? Unfortunately, the culprit's identity is still a mystery to us, but we suspect he seeks our wings. He enables... They enable our control of the Black Pearl, and are perhaps the only things in the world that can seal away the demonic essence. Wait, your wings can seal away the essence? Yes, 
The dark force can only be controlled by the power of our white wings. Though to cage an energy so strong, we would need to drain every last bit of that power. But what would happen to you then? The wings are your source of your divinity, are they not? If you used up all their power, wouldn't you? No, we would not die, but I suspect we would not sleep for a very, very long time. Most likely until the day when the essence reawakens. That's... There's no other way to seal the essence, I'm afraid. So please try to understand why Rhea never discussed this with you. I'm sure it would be particularly painful for her more than if... More so than if you were a, anyone else. Ha 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 ha. Pull. Is that all? I imagine so much worse. Bina, I am in your debt. Thanks to you, I finally figured out what I have to do. Your eyes. You are no longer lost, are you? I have shamed myself so much since this whole ordeal began, but I am trying to carve out a half-assed niche for myself in this cursed land. I guess you could say I've found my motivation. It may not be pretty, but I know it has to be done. Well, never may be planning. Please be gentle with Rhea. She is focused on her mission and maintains this strong front despite all that has occurred. But in still, inside, she is still the same Rhea you've always known. This is anything but easy for her. Don't worry, I understand. So, Rhea mentions something that isn't mentioned, or, um... I'm sorry, Fina mentions something that ha wasn't mentioned in either one of the first two campaigns. And that is, there is a traitor in their ranks. And they don't know who it is. But it's one of the members of East. And just as a slight, um... Jumping to that conclusion, you know, uh... To fully flesh this out a little bit better because I'm not sure it's going to come up till um, later in the game, but oh shit so all done with your little talk, I am and the information I thought I needed I intend to resume my search for later for you, you know, immediately well, thanks for dropping by I guess oh but before you go that stuck up sorcerer crit is your little brother, isn't he? Did he tell you? Yeah, I ran into him a few times while I was searching. Why did you lie to me earlier? I severed ties with East and its peoples when I joined the forces with the you Darklings. As I recall, that all I said on the matter, and I told you I had no ties to the man, and I meant it. Now you've gone on the defensive, I believe you. So, isn't your brother in a lot of danger here? No more than anyone else, I, I think. Mm, I'm not I'm not so sure about that. Seems like he's got a lot of conf confidence, but I think it's just a mask. You ask me, he's a fragile as a twig. Every time I see him, I feel like I might be the last, like he's about to get snapped in two or something. Well, well, you certainly seem to be devoting a lot of thought to him. What's that supposed to mean? I'm trying to learn more about him, that's all. I mean, he's kind of mysterious, you know. Fair enough. Well, when he was younger, he was very mature for his age, always had his nose buried in books, and he idolized his big brother. Anywhere I went, he'd surely be only a few steps behind. Then I left home. I think Hugo hated me for having abandoned him. I can't imagine him as a little brat chasing after his big brother. But that's not the sort of intel I was looking for. I mean, he's the enemy, right? I was just wanted to know what I'm up against, that's all I swear. A terrible liar. You have a goddess to find. So get going already. It's not no time to kick back and relax. I'm curious. So uh, no boss battle there, which is surprising. 
is I have had a boss battle pretty much everywhere else I've gone. So, uh, make a quick point and then I'm going to quit the game here. Um, Tina mentions that there's a traitor in their ranks and I'm going to skip ahead just slightly uh, and say that um, it the reason they don't tell the, the six priests is because they believe it is one of the six priests that has betrayed them. And that's why they're not letting anyone from the uh, six priests to their closest advisors or closest friends know about this plan uh, that they've concocted to seal the um, pearl. So. So anyways, uh, I'm going to cut the recording here, and when I come back, uh, we're going to continue up the tower. Uh, but until then, uh, I hope you guys have a good day, and good rest of your week.